Thank you very much. Um, welcome again to another session of Everyday Mathematics. Here at Everyday Mathematics, um, as I always say, we do enjoy solving uh, the harder problems, but we also appreciate and see the beauty of the simpler problems. Um, so we step back a little bit and uh, move to the quarterfinals of the MIT 2023 Integration B. And our focus today is quarterfinal number four, uh, problem number one. And that is the integration of one over one plus cosine x plus sine x integrating from x equals to zero to pi over two. Now, before I begin, I would like to really uh, send out a shout out to our subscribers. We are very appreciative of you. We don't take your support for granted. For those of you who are here for the first time or the second time, third time or fourth time, but haven't subscribed to our channel, we do encourage you to subscribe to our channel. The beauty of it is that you do get a notification every time we do upload a video. So uh, moving forward to the solution to this problem, um, the first thing that uh, comes to mind is we uh, let t be equal to tangent of uh, x over 2. Now, what that means is that the derivative dt dx of tangent of x over 2 is going to be a half uh, sec squared or second squared x over 2. That means that now um, dt is equals to a half of sec squared of x over 2 dx. Re-expressing sec squared uh, x over 2 in terms of tangent uh, becomes 1 plus tangent uh, squared x over 2. And now we know tangent x over 2 is the same as t. Uh, therefore, we can now um, substitute t for tangent x and therefore x over 2, and therefore 2 over 1 over t squared dt uh, can be placed in place of dx. Now, the other thing is we would want also to re-express uh, cosine x and sine x, and also these limits in the t domain. So what I do usually is I draw up a triangle, and looking at x over 2 as an angle of focus, so x over 2, and t is the same as t over 1. Now, a tangent of an angle, uh, when you're looking at a triangle, is the same as the opposite over the adjacent. And our, if we express t as t over 1, we could say, OK, t is our opposite, and 1 is our uh, adjacent. And therefore, the hypotenuse is going to be the square root of 1 plus t squared. And therefore, we can express sine x over 2, uh, cosine x over 2, uh, using these uh, triangular relationships. Uh, so we know sine x is the same as 2 sine x over 2, cosine x over 2, which is equivalent to 2 times, in place of sine x over 2, is uh, opposite t over uh, hypotenuse, square root of 1 uh, plus t squared, which is shown here. And cosine x over 2 is the adjacent over the opponents, which is 1 over the square root of 1 plus t squared. And so multiplying uh, the numerators and the denominators, you we find that sine x uh, in the t uh, domain is 2t over 1 plus t squared. Cosine x is cosine squared uh, x over 2 minus sine squared x over 2, which is the same as uh, cosine x over 2 squared is 1 plus over square root of 1 plus t squared squared, which is 1 over t squared, and sine squared uh, x is same as sine x over 2 squared, which is t over square root of 1 plus t squared, uh, square root of 1 plus t squared squared, which is a 1 over t squared uh, minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. This expression now uh, becomes 1 minus t squared uh, over 1 plus t squared in place of cosine x. Now looking at the limits, uh, when x equals to 0, uh, t is tangent of x over 2, which is tangent of 0 over 2, and that is t 
is zero. Now, uh, when x is equals to pi over two, uh, x tangent of pi over two over two is a tangent of pi over four, which is one. So t is one at the upper limit and t zero at the lower limit. So now what we can do now is re-express our integral uh, in uh, the t uh, domain. Uh, so uh, lower limit zero, upper limit one, uh, dx is two dt over one plus t squared, and then uh, one plus cosine, x is 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared plus uh, sine x is 2t plus 1, uh, 2t over 1 plus t squared. And now this one here can be expressed as 1 plus t squared over 1 plus t squared so that uh, all the denominators here, uh, the, they, they look, uh, they're the same. And so uh, taking uh, this numerator, uh, out a little bit. Um, and so adding up the numerator, since the denominators now are the same, um, we can add one plus t squared plus one minus t squared plus two uh, t. And this t squared and this t squared, they cancel out. And therefore we have two plus two uh, t in the denominator. And therefore, um, the denominator here now goes up as a numerator, as you can see here. And this 1 plus t squared uh, will cancel with the 1 plus t squared in the denominator uh, below dt. And so we are left with 2 here plus the 2 that remains in the denominator plus uh, 2t. So the 2 cancels out and so our integral at uh, the very minimum is 1 over 1 plus t integrating from 0 to 1. So we know that um, this integral is a simple one. Uh, uh, we can integrate it to natural logarithm of 1 plus t integrating from 0 to 1 and that means that is natural logarithm of uh, one plus one, which is two, minus uh, natural logarithm of, um, I made a mistake here, a zero plus one is natural logarithm of one. Yeah, many apologies. And so this is log two minus log, a natural logarithm of one is zero, so we subtract the zero, and this is our final answer, uh, log two. So that is uh, the solution uh, to uh, our problem. Um, thank you again for giving us company and uh, our subscribers. We always, we always appreciate your support. For those of you who have not subscribed, uh, just uh, we do encourage you to uh, click on the subscribe button. Um, thank you again. Until next time, um, it was great, great hanging out with you.